job you're doing to make sure people aren't disappointed this past Thanksgiving, as well as uh, Christmas coming up. Uh, this morning I provided an update on uh, Omicron variant and uh, told the American people that uh, it is a uh, new variant, a cause for concern, but not a cause for panic. And uh, we're going to fight this with science and speed. We're not going to fight it with chaos and confusion. And we believe we can deal with it. On Thursday, I'm going to be putting forward a detailed strategy on how to deal with this new variant. And uh, that is uh, not uh, shutdowns or lockdowns, uh, but with more widespread vaccination and more boosters testing and, uh, and more. In the meantime, I've said the best protection against this new variant is to get fully vaccinated and get a booster shot. And I urge all Americans who haven't yet done that, get it done today. There's no excuse. There are 80,000 places you can get it done. I mean, there just, it's, there's no reason. It's free, it's available, and if you qualify for the booster, get it done today. Now, to the business at hand. I know it's been an incredibly busy time for all of you here today, and, uh, and that's a very good thing from my perspective. Then again, I'm not doing all the work you all are doing. But uh, all kidding aside, it really, uh, really matters. I remember, and I think we all do, last year, families celebrating the holidays apart from one another, or on video, or uh, for fear of spreading the deadly virus. And this year, thanks to scientists, researchers, and doctors who developed the COVID-19 vaccines, and the nurses and other frontline workers who saw to it that it was administered. Many of them, your employees in your stores, uh, who were able to have a very different Thanksgiving as a consequence of that than last Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Reunited with friends and family, and I think maybe most important, with a little more hope, a little more hope. And uh, fewer Americans were worried about putting food on the table, and hunger is actually down 40% this year in the United States of America. 4.5 million more Americans than last year had the dignity of a job. It also means that we're looking toward the holiday season. We feel a lot more like the ones we had in the past. Consumer spending has recovered to where it was uh, headed before the pandemic. Early estimates are that Black Friday sales are up nearly a third since last year, and in-store sales were up by nearly, by more, even more than that, I believe it was 40-some percent. I, I don't have the number top, I think it's 44 percent, something like that. And, uh, and so we're hearing similar reports from uh, Small Business Saturday, I don't have the numbers yet. And uh, I'm sure that some of the people watching this online are also doing a little uh, Cyber Monday shopping uh, right now. And that's why I brought everyone together today to thank you for accommodating. The business leaders we gather here today represent a broad swath of American shopping. Brick and mortar and online stores, national local grocery chains, our nation's largest retailer, and makers and sellers of toys, electronics, and health supplies. I want to hear from each of you about what you're seeing this holiday season. How well prepared are you to, and, and, uh, um, to have products you need on your shelves? And, uh, and, and know how you've innovated and hired to overcome these supply uh, chain challenges you have. And uh, <clears throat> keep workers safe from COVID-19 so that the American people can have a holiday season they've been long hoping for. In particular, I want to hear about the challenges facing smaller businesses. The small businesses are so important to our communities, they don't have the same leverage as many of you do. And finally, I want to hear your ideas on how the federal government can continue partnering with you all to keep shelf stock so American consumers can get what they need. And uh, some of you have been working with my port envoy, John Picari, to get goods through our ports faster. And we've seen some progress in that effort with a number of containers sitting on docks for more than eight days, down by over 40% this month. And uh, we keep building on that progress.